Hey everyone, I'm Aria and welcome to today's speed build. I hope you're all having a wonderful week. So my original idea for this was to be a crafter's cottage. So, you know, sims who like to fish, garden, do some woodworking, knitting, painting, that sort of thing. But uh, as I was building it, it went from a cottage and then it turned into a cabin and by the end it kind of looked more like a farm so <laughs> I don't really know what to call it but we're gonna stick with the crafters cottage title because that's what I named the lot when I started recording so it's it's a cottage it's just as it's a very big cottage with an extra building and some farmland <laughs> but anyway I had a lot of fun with this and um it was nice just to do something normal, <laughs> normal I guess, um, not fantasy, you know. I don't really do builds like this very often, like, you know, family, home sort of things. And um, yeah, it was just a nice change of pace for me. I didn't really have anything that I was working off of. I did have an original image that I found on Pinterest, it was actually a, like a miniature model. Uh, but by the time I was finished it ended up looking nothing like it <laughs> which is the, is, you know, is the usual way to go um, but anyway as you see we've already created the shelf on the main house I'm just creating like a I don't know like a little shed type thing over here I had real trouble with the roofing on this maybe because it's on a diagonal I'm not sure but it wouldn't clip to the tiles on the second floor and kept on jumping back down to the ground. I don't know why it did that and it was very annoying and it took me ages and then a little bit later on we go back in and try and put some like floor pieces on the top of the roof so I could add some trims and I had the same issue there so I managed to fix it in the end but I'm not really sure what happened. <laughs> uh, but we're just adding some um, terrain tool type thingies now <laughs> I wanted it to look like it was on like rolling hills and obviously with these kind of lots of the surrounding world is so flat that it's quite hard to create the kind of look that you're going for if you want to create you know rolling hills or like a hilltop kind of house or something um, but I did the best I could <laughs> so I really wanted a trim around the base of the roof on this little like greenhouse area that I have with the glass roof um, but I couldn't get the roof trim to well not the roof trim like the top wall trim I don't remember what they're called um, to stay whilst still having you know no flooring so that you could see through the glass roof does that make any sense um so we end up going with shelving a little bit later um but i'm just adding all of this wall paint in here i really like the way that this looks i originally started out that i wanted to just do um like seasons and uh cats and dogs but um i ended up using this get together wall paint siding and I didn't kind of really even think about it until I was trying to limit what I was doing or what packs I was using. See there I'm using um, the shelving like I said earlier. Um, yeah I didn't really kind of think about it until I had already put it down and then when it came to like using these shelves I was like oh you know I don't know what shelves to use because the cats and dogs ones got like a weird like thing on the bottom and then realized that I had used um, this wall paint <laughs> from get together so I just figured oh, I'll add another pack and just have like those three and then when it came to doing the interior that went completely out the window and it's not limited pack at all <laughs> I've never been very good at limited pack builds I just get carried away and really like the items from different packs and want to use them so I'll, I'm sure I'll do another one one day but today is not the day. <laughs> um, so here I am trying to add some floor pieces so that I could add that exterior wall trim like I said earlier and as you can see I am having some issues trying to get it to like clip to that floor and it will drive me a little bit insane <laughs> but we do manage it after like 20 minutes of trying to play around with it so this 
video in terms of editing I haven't actually cut anything out which is like the first time ever I think normally I uh, I'd say that I lie sorry I have not included the interior but in terms of the exterior um, footage that I filmed I haven't cut anything out which is like a first for me <laughs> because normally I will cut out things that like aren't necessary or that maybe it's a bit repetitive um, but this one even though I filmed it over two days I didn't really I couldn't really cut anything out <laughs> there wasn't really anything that I felt needed to be removed if that makes sense so I also include the floor plan um, in this which I'm not sure that I've done very often before normally I will skip that bit because it takes me way too long and it's just not very interesting to kind of watch when I'm constantly changing my mind but um, this one I don't know it just kind of flowed really easily and I obviously had no idea what the interior floor plan was going to look like when I built the exterior because I don't really plan ahead with things like that I just build a shell that I like the look of and then we go inside and realize that I've you know made a mess of it and um, <laughs> and um, then hey myself um, but this one seemed to come together really easily um, so right now I am creating like a little roof window what are they called I don't know um, I when I was doing the floor plan for the upstairs I realized that the hallway didn't have any windows on it and it was just really dark and just I don't know looked kind of dingy so I wanted to uh, they're called skylights yes <laughs> I wanted to add a little bit of light in there so I created this little skylight on the back of the building um, and it just adds a nice little beam of light down into there kind of I think it's if you've got it set to evening kind of evening time I think the light comes in it does kind of clip a little bit into one of the bedrooms for some reason even though I checked several times and for some reason I don't know why the light comes into that room when it's completely blocked off but it does <laughs> um, but I still think it looks pretty so I changed my mind a few times with the different swatches um, as usual <laughs> um, but I really like the look of the um, like the dark wood beams and the white fencing together they're both from cats and dogs and um, I just liked the fact that they just look really nice together so I'm just adding some um, what's this called <laughs> um, terrain paint I um for some reason the grass is like a completely different color I know I have a retexture mod and that's probably why but I don't know like it was before before I added the mod the grass on the bottom of these like pebble paint <laughs> is it called a pebble paint I don't know um it's like a completely different green to um, all of the other worlds and it, it takes a lot of blending it just it takes a while <laughs> um, but I am just adding some uh, cats and dogs rocks around here I really like these rocks as I've said multiple times I use them all the time because they have a very minimal uh, footprint and they clip really nicely they rotate which not a lot of the rocks rotate which is yeah <laughs> but these ones rotate really nicely and um, I didn't realize when I was playtesting that my sim walks straight through them which is odd so actually like I said earlier that I didn't cut anything out I did I cut this out <laughs> bad me um, because it literally took me like an hour trying to figure out how to make these all like connect properly and not have to resize them um, but this is the little like farming area I originally wanted it to be on the top of a hill as you saw me create earlier however it just wasn't possible and I couldn't get any of it to work like when I put the plants down the plants just weren't functional with my sim my sim couldn't walk up to them and you know and they just were weird and they looked weird so 
I um, ended up making this area completely flat. I think I I had maybe like 10 plants or something so um, there's lots of space for you to add more plants if you would like to um, download this build. It is on the gallery under my origin ID which I have actually changed all of my um, usernames and everything everywhere so they are all of them are all RFA YT now so um, hopefully that will be easier because before it was like underscores and hyphens everywhere and it was just very confusing <laughs> so um, yeah my origin ID is RFA YT or you can find all of my builds under the hashtag RFA I also upload all of the tray files to the tumblr post if anyone um, is interested in grabbing those instead so just adding more rocks, <laughs> more and more rocks. I basically just add rocks everywhere and yeah, use the tool mod to rotate, resize and gravity pull everywhere because I love that function. <laughs> I love the feature. It's so much easier now because before I was just like clicking in random places and it was just I couldn't ever get them in the right place and I know like the gravity pull feature has been out for a while but um yeah I just wanted to say <laughs> I just like to say how much I love it <laughs> um so yeah that is pretty much it for the rocks I think so uh yeah like I said in here is the little farming area um I had to make it flat because I think I already said <laughs> I had to make it flat because my sim couldn't do anything on this this little lot um, but I did spend quite a long time trying to make everything kind of fit together with the tool mod and then end up just going back and making everything flat so um, we are now on day two of building which is why the lighting has changed and um, I am just adding these plants from the base game I think I add um, maybe two or three other plants which are also from the base game. I always use base game debug plants in my landscaping for some reason. I think they just, I don't know, they look a lot nicer. And um, I don't know, I've just always used base game ones for some reason. I think it's because I didn't have better build by before and the base game ones just came up at the top. <laughs> um, but yeah, they... Um, I think I used some flowers, which might not be uh, might not be debug. Sorry, they are base game. Might not be debug. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it now. After the landscaping, I have a um, a cinematic tour for you, which I hope you will enjoy. So that is pretty much it from me now. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like if you do like it let me know what you think in the comments down below and if you fancy it maybe you could subscribe too <laughs> um it really helps me out and lets me know that you enjoy my content so that being said i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you all next time bye everyone I'm writing a love song for me to you Tell me you got me, I'll tell you too We're writing a love song, it's deja vu Won't you tell me what you're waiting for? See those mansions I keep on They won't give you any back I'll tell you what I'm waiting for Got that fashion for me, girl Can't say I don't fight with that You want to make a move? No, we don't have to share Say the word, gonna work to put in over time Cause you deserve the sunrise da 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 you never know Where you can find love, where you can find love la da 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 you drop it low Damn, do you got some more than enough Tell me you love me, tell me it's true I'm writing a love
love song from me to you 